<laughs> it's tiki time! <laughs> uh, does it seem like the this is far away? Um, no, no. Okay. There we go. Sure. Magic. Move it closer together. No hands. No. No. I think it's just we're a still little in. crooked. We're still in. We're still in frame. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're just waiting for uh, some some people to get on. Sure uh, we've got that. we've got uh, a couple things we're making tonight. We're making three different drinks. Um, one of them was uh, uh, suggested by my mom. Yeah, uh, she's the one that gave us this Lacroix or Lacroix if you want to say it in French. Uh, even though it's an American drink. Hi, Hi Jason. Jason. Your dog got confused. Don't look at her. She'll come running over. She only does that with you. Yeah. All right, so. Um, should shoot her a text and tell her that we're on. Okay. How is everybody doing? Uh, so this week was exciting at work. I qualified on my part of the unit. It was split into segments and working on sections at a time. So I had to take a test and talk about how things work and then get approved. Good job. Move on to the next one. We miss you too, buddy. Uh, two weeks is my Mission Impossible day here at Schaefer Cinema. If you want to watch all the Mission Impossibles with us, I tagged you in the post. Um... So, tonight we're uh, drinking to that. Um, what is the uh, first first uh, drink that we're making tonight? Was there a specific one you wanted to start with? Oh, we'll start with the one my mom suggested. Okay, let me get to that one. Alright. So, it's going to be... Ooh. It's going to be a, an easy and light... Pina Colada. Easy and light pina colada. Is that because like light in calories? Yeah, it's definitely way lower in calories than a traditional pina colada, and there's no blending involved, which is pretty cool. Okay, which is good because I use plastic ice cubes. Yeah, you don't want to blend this. Uh, so you're going to do. Hi, mom. We're trying your drink now. Yeah. What? Two ounces of white rum. Uh, tonight's white rum is going to be Bacardi. Oh. Aww. So, uh, this is a pretty common one. Uh, we have a big one down there. This is our well white rum. Because um, we use this for mixed drinks. How many? You said two? Two. Two ounces of white rum. I like how the recipe, though, it says <laughs> to do uh, two one ounce shots of white rum. So, two ounces. That means two ounces. <laughs> okay. The white rum? Uh, a it says a quarter cup of orange juice. A quarter cup? Yeah. Do you want me to get a measuring cup? Because I didn't think about this. It would be half of this. Okay. Right? You know what? Measure with... Let's ask my mom. 16 ounces in a cup, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, this is eight ounces, so half of this. Sounds great. Is a quarter cup. Perfect. Yeah, these are left over from the other night when we used orange juice in our drinks. Uh, yeah, it's about yeah, it's about a quarter cup. It's all right. Measure with your heart. I am. And you know, same with that. It says like half a lime, and we actually do have fresh limes, but. Somebody likes to just use lime we juice. We don't. We don't have a lime juicer, so you squeeze it. Look. You can't get all the juice. Yeah, but okay. you can do well enough. Um, eight ounces is a quarter cup. Eight ounces is a half a cup. Yeah, wouldn't that be half? Yeah, so I did half of eight ounces, so it's four ounces, so that's a quarter cup. Okay, Cheers. what's next? That's it. Oh, that's it? 
Yeah, because you don't want to shake that. Oh, no, no, no. No, you don't want to put any carbonated anything in a shaker. Yeah. So I would mix that, pour it into a glass, and I would just top it with. It says one can of LaCroix. I'm sure That's you can just lot. spill the rest with LaCroix. We're going to kind of makeshift because that doesn't make sense. And, of course, we're using coconut LaCroix, not just yes, like a random it is coconut. flavor. It's coconut for the pina colada effect. Wait, my lid's not on. Whoops. Yeah, it is. Why is it leaking? No idea. Maybe it had to go. <laughs> this should have been in a glass. It's a lot more juice than I would have expected. Well, a quarter. I don't know. I'm just following the recipe. Should uh, should we put it in a large glass? Yeah. Ass, please, as my mom would tell me to use my manners. <laughs> I guess it, it needed, I didn't see how much liquid was going to be in it. Okay. Say when. Whenever. That's like, it's about half the can. All right, coconut LaCroix. This can be bought at stores. <laughs> I think Target. I think Target has it. Yeah, they, they or in French, it. it's LaCroix. Okay. Oh. You can try it first. All right. It smells. I smell orange juice. Eight ounces is one cup, not sixteen ounces. You know what? Sixteen ounces is a pound. So I needed mm. a quarter of the, mm -hmm. a quarter of that. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've measured liquids for. Yeah, you things. know, because I was thinking that too, and I didn't. I think it has, yeah, because it has too much orange juice. Yeah. It's not bad, but it doesn't really taste like pina colada to me. I think a little less orange. Oh yeah, there's way a lot of orange in this. Maybe some pineapple would be good. But it's not, it's I'm not terrible. I'm actually surprised it didn't have pineapple instead of orange. I was surprised too. But but the, you can taste the coconut <laughs> in the LaCroix. And what? there's like, yes, finally. <laughs> the measurement. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm good. Okay, well, then I'll set that to the side for later. Yeah. Um. What's next? You look that up. I'm going to rinse this out real quick. All right. Sounds like a good plan. I had it pulled up, and then I went backwards. All right. So the next one we're going to do is a little more. Do we have? Yes. I'm just going to start pulling stuff to the front. And we're kind of going to have to makeshift this one, too, because there was one ingredient we didn't have. So we're going to have to modify it just a little bit, but it's going to be basically the same. It just won't have the same color. It's based off of a drink called the Blue Hawaii, and we just don't have the blue part. We ran out of blue, uh, blue carousel. Yeah, but we're still using, so blue carousel is actually... Um, Orange liqueur. It's citrus, yeah. So we're just using a different citrus liqueur. It's just not going to be blue. Yeah, which I think so, will be um, fine. So, okay. We're using Cointreau instead. Yeah. And so you can either use Cointreau or Triple Sec in the place of uh, Blue Curacao. It just won't be blue. This is two ounces of white rum. Yep. Oop. One, two, three, two. <laughs> you want this shirt? Apparently, it's from Amazon. You can get it on Amazon. Very cool. Um, I forgot to wear mine. You're going to the Alani tomorrow? Oh. I have never been. That is awesome. That's awesome that you get to go to the Alani. For those of you just watching, uh, the Alani is the Disney hotel in Hawaii. What else? Uh, we're going to do three quarter ounce blue care. Uh, <laughs> Quattro, three quarter ounce. 
believe that's on this side. No, it is on this side. There it is. Glug, 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 glug. And? That's what I was looking for. We did pineapple juice. Oh no, where's the pineapple juice? Way over here on the shelf. Ah. How much Whoops. of this? Two ounces. Two ounces. Is that a quarter cup? <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple. Yep. Mm. Next. Half ounce lime juice. Pineapple. Half ounce lime juice. Goes up to here. Meat, 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 meat. Okay. Half ounce of lemon. Half ounce of lemon. Bloop, 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 bloop. Gotta be careful. Last time I splashed myself in the face. Yeah, we don't want that again. Okay. And a half ounce of simple syrup. I think this is gonna use the rest Probably of it. Probably the rest. Simple syrup. Yeah, we gotta get more. Half ounce of the simple of the syrup. Um, we have other simple syrup, but it's mint. It's oh, yeah, mint okay. simple syrup. Okay. And that's it. Just shake it? Yep. And then that's it? Yep. What? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your doggy. Shake your doggy. <laughs> what? How much did you have? I don't know. To let her to drop the sock. I don't know. Oh <laughs> drop it! Wow. Don't shake your dog. Or your baby. Wow. That's how syndromes happen. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, look at the blue of this. Get it all out. All right. Ooh, look at the pretty color of yellow. You can try that one first. I'm the first one. What is this, a fuzzball? There was a fuzzball. Oops. Okay, let's see. That's really good. That's pretty strong, too. It's very um, citrusy, because it has lime, lemon, and quattro. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. I like that. I'd be kind of interested to see what it looks like blue. No, that's really good. Yeah. It's got a nice little, like, you know, with that citrus, a little bit of that tartness. That is really good. That's delicious. Next. Oh, yeah. Prep for the next one. Oh good, we need pineapple juice for the next one too. Uh, I'm trying to remember, do you remember what the name of this one was? I fail. I was supposed to write it down and I completely forgot. No. Mary Pickford. There we go. You remembered it? Mary Pickford. A, a Mary Pickford. Yes. Okay. What is in a Mary Pickford? Ice cubes. Sure. Um, two ounces of rum. White rum? Yes. Tried to stick with the white rum for the drinks. I can tell. When doing the research. Good thing we keep a big one of this below the bar. Yeah. This is our well rum. 
Okay. One and a half ounces of pineapple juice. One and a half of this. All right. Um, there we go. Glug. Okay. A teaspoon of maraschino liqueur. A teaspoon. How much is a tisp? Tisp. Tisp. Teaspoon. Who said that? What? I don't know. Teaspoon. A tisp. I don't know. It's from Sleeping Beauty. Oh, I don't remember. It was Meriwether, because she's always the one that cooks, and she's like, it's a teaspoon, because what's her face? Fauna was, no, Flora. Flora, Fauna, Mer Fauna was like, tisp. She was trying to make the cake. Yeah. Oh. And it was liquid, liquid cake, because she hadn't uh -huh. baked it yet. Yeah. And she's like, tisp, tisp, and then Meriwether was like, teaspoon. And Meriwether was voiced by Barbara Luddy, who is the voice of Lady from Lady and the Tramp. All right, that's some fun facts for you. I'm just going to say that this little bit. Looks about right. Yeah. I'm going to say a quarter ounce is a teaspoon, just because I don't have teaspoons in here. Yeah. And well, in the next measurement, is so the grenadine says two teaspoons. You've never heard of this drink, and you used to be a bartender. I've never heard of it either. Um, that's how syndromes happen. <laughs> Probably perfect for the hot day, too. It was very hot. Uh, Heather's never heard of it either. Yeah, so um, speaking of heat, um, I was out tracing lines at work, and I had my gigantic clipboard because these are long pieces of paper, and I'm out there with the highlighter, and this is almost the end of the day. And I'm like following pipes to valves to little bleeders to gauges trying to trace out all of these these lines for the propane bullets and um with their gigantic tanks that hold propane they're huge like they're like the length of my house um and i was like it's just hot so i'm going back inside like it was so hot i was sweating i couldn't focus on the paper and i saw a lizard all right <laughs> what else uh grenadine how much it says two teaspoons i don't think we need that much just Lighten it up? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like too much is just going to be gross. Too sweet? Yeah. But if All you right. want to add more, add more. I wonder what year this expired. It's not that old. Nah, I've had it for a while. Because it's, it's a syrup it. and it stays in the refrigerator. So, let's see here. Mary Pickford, founder of the Motion Picture Academy. Hi, Jerry. Oh, my. Did mom tell me a movie fact? Mom, you're not supposed to tell me movie facts. Oh, my gosh. A movie fact that you didn't oh, know? Oh, that makes sense. The drink was created for her. Hey, buddy. Happy Friday. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Jerry. Jerry surprised me at our last movie day. He yeah, came by and surprised cool. me because he lived so far away. So, Like, for real, not sarcastically. She, he, lives a, he lives a ways away. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Nice surprise. All right. Here we go. Look at that color. That's cool. It's like a pinky, pinky orange. All right, you get to try this one because I tried the last one. All right. You want to come to a movie date, don't you live in Southern California? You can drive up seven hours just to watch all of the Mission Impossibles. Yeah. It's good. I taste mostly the um, the liqueur, the maraschino liqueur. Blood orange color. Yes, this is a blood orange color. Or um, what's that? What's that tropical fruit? Guava juice. It looks know, like guava. Looks like guava juice. Oh, this one's really good, too. I just, I wow. mainly taste the maraschino. No? I taste the maraschino, too. Okay. It's still really good. Are you going to take a picture? You want me to put the other others next to it? Sure, why not? So when I make the thumbnail for YouTube, 
I usually just look up the recipe online and I take the photo of the drink and then use it for the thumbnail. Yeah, no, I like the color of that one. Yeah, it's really pretty. No, it's got a good taste. It's not too sweet. It probably would have been sweeter if we would have added more grenadine, but I really don't think it needed it. No. I mean, I I like the taste of the maraschino liqueur. It's not too sweet, which is nice. Heather uh, said she's not that far from Disneyland. I wish I was not that far from Disneyland. What's it taste like? Um, the flavoring in maraschino cherries is almond extract. Kind of get a little bit of that, I feel like. Yeah. It tastes like a tropical drink, Jerry. I'm trying to think of which one I like best. I don't know. This is why we don't drink them all. Uh-uh. That way, too, you drink the grossest one first, and then you save the best for last. Well, that one's good. That's the coconut one. This one is the other one. I don't know. I kind of like the second one. Yeah, I do too. I, or third, second one. Yeah, this one. I kind of like this one. But I like I like this one. I'm just wondering if I would have liked <clears throat> that one more if it wasn't so heavily If we didn't juice. add too much orange. It might have been better. So maybe it's something we might have to try out again. Yeah. But it's not bad. I do like no. that you get that light, the light coconut flavor from the the um LaCroix yeah and we do have another coconut one in the fridge so we can make it again some other time so yeah I yeah. don't know this is tough what order would you put them in one two two and a quarter <laughs> so that like a tie yeah, it's a tie. One, two. I like the coconut one, but again, I think we just, it's because we doubled the orange juice on accident. I'd be curious, too, if like maybe lessening the orange juice even more and then doing a little bit yeah. of pineapple as well. So instead of doing, what did you do, eight ounces of orange juice? Just remember that a glug glug is smaller than a glug. Got it. <laughs> True. What? You did how many ounces of? quarter cup half a cup it was half a cup because it's supposed to be a quarter cup so it should have been so a quarter you, of so that it bottle been four ounces no it should have been two two yeah because this is eight ounces this is oh one. this is one cup okay and you so did i should have four, done a quarter so of it been two so i wonder how it would have tasted if we did one ounce of orange, one ounce of pineapple, and then the rum, oh, and then the coconut orange water. orange pineapple. I'm mixing it up a little bit, because I think it would have been a little bit better. Yeah. We Might can, have to try it. We can make it real quick. We have an extra glass. How do we have an extra glass? Because we got a tall one for this one. Well, I mean, we have, we have plenty. I'm just saying for another time, or... I mean, if you want to, go for it. Okay, what's in it? I we, was saying to do... Yeah, half and half. Yeah. Yeah. What's the recipe? Well, she's looking up the recipe. No, I already know it. If you would like to sponsor an episode of uh, Tiki Time, a Schaefer Tiki Bar, and get this really cool sticker for Schaefer Tiki Bar, the link is in the description. And she said do it. All right. Do it. Yeah, do it. So it's two ounces of rum, an ounce of pineapple, an ounce of orange, and coconut. Sparkling water. Two ounces of rum... Oh, it splashed a little bit. What is the other one? That's why we have the mat. What is the other one? Uh huh. An ounce of pineapple, an ounce of orange. Ounce. Ounce. Of pineapple mm -hmm. and top it with that. Yeah, why not? Okay. Oh, wait, you tried the last one. Okay, now I'll try it.
Oh, I like that better. Yeah. What do you it's, think? It's less orangey. It's because I made it up. Yeah, it's because you made it up. Yeah. It's more betterer. It's more like when you think of a pina colada, it's just obviously not as sweet and blended. But, I mean, it's good, though. Jerry's like, I need that sticker. He asked, are any of those drinks good without the alcohol, do you think? Well, then it would just be drinking juice with syrup in it. <laughs> That's all it would be. But, I mean, I, I've had people... Do you like pineapple juice and orange juice and like, then mix them together? But you could do, like, a virgin pina colada or... And then you just add the coconut, the sparkling coconut. That's pretty much what it would be. Yeah. Um, this one sounds delicious. Yeah. That was much better with the... Yeah. So, like, I'll pick... This is number one now. Yeah, no, that's good. And it's light, which is nice. I mean, it's obviously not the same as And then this Claude, two but... and three. Although I like three. Yeah. No, I mean, this was a good one. Yeah. It's kind of hard to... Yeah, I still think I like... Well, I don't know. Maybe this is my new favorite. Maybe add Sprite. Well, it has coconut. It has the sparkling coconut. But... You could uh, add Sprite. If you were doing... Uh, the other one with the citrus... Well, no, I was going to say if you were doing, if you wanted more of the lemon lime, then you could do like, what if you, what if we did it with coconut rum and then you could do like a Sprite or something in it too to add some more citrus Yeah, you could do that with it. coconut rum, which we just got because we recorded on Wednesday night another episode of Tipsy Takes and we used uh, uh, Bacardi coconut rum. That's what we uh, reviewed on that episode um i'm behind on editing because we got ahead of recording Which and then good. i've just been really busy at night and haven't been able to to edit i was trying to finish my cars section of my book cars three which i finished last night perfect time because tonight's the cutoff where i add up my fun facts for the quarter because tomorrow's july 1st oh that's right yeah so i tried it that was my deadline was the first and so i finished cars three last night um, did you know Owen Wilson said, wow, nine times in Cars 3? That's it. That's it, nine times. Um, so I did just put up our episode today. Uh, it was two recordings ago, and it was Blood Orange Vodka from Sky. And that episode is up um, with the Reddit stories and stuff like that. I just put that up today. So if you go to my wall, you can click on that link. If you want to hear us talking for 51 minutes. They've gotten slightly shorter because they were a little over an hour. Uh, whereas when we first started, when we weren't trying the drinks with it, it was like 22 minutes because we weren't talking as much. She talks a lot more once she has some shots in her. This is true. It is true. <laughs> uh, maybe add Sprite. See, I used to drink the orange and pineapple dispensed drink with crush I crushed ice from the 90s. CVS store vending machine yummy. Mm. Mm. There's a lot of options. I mean, there's a lot of different combinations you can do, especially when you're talking tropical, like adding in different, you know, sparkling waters, sodas. Yeah. Syrups. Fruits. This is going to be a lot to clean up. This is a lot of yeah. stuff. I mean, like all over the bar. Yeah. But, you know, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. I'm glad we had most of the things. We just didn't have the blue carousel, but that's okay. Yeah. It's not something we really drink a lot of. Like we don't really use. You use it for, like, the color yeah. factor. You could also use triple sec in its place also. Um, it's just blue. So if you want the drink to be a specific color, then you would use blue carousel. Yeah. Yeah. But there's not a whole lot. Like, there's nothing that we really drink a lot that has that calls for it. Like, that we wouldn't need it. It's just, again, yeah. for the color. So yeah, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah. I, I pff, pff, long day, long week at work. Um, I work Monday. I don't have to work on the holiday. And but then uh, go back to work for three more days. So we need to get a nice little like. Week, yeah. Would you post about in your group today? I heard you posted something exciting. Yeah, we talked about hydration. Hi. I'm hydrating right now. Yeah, with the coconut sparkling water. Because, you know, you can also drink and hydrate at the same time. 
Yeah, alcohol doesn't do anything to dehydrate your body. Which is why you drink water in between to rehydrate. Yeah, there was water in it. Yes. Especially exactly. if you add ice cubes. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not bad. Is it my favorite uh, sparkling water? No. The coconut? Yeah. She's not a huge coconut fan. She likes coconut, but she's not a huge coconut fan. Same with grapefruit. Because when we were in Hawaii, I had to drink the r- fresh coconut by myself. That was a little different. It was good. It's just I'm not, like, I don't crave coconut. The guy hacked off the end with a machete and then gave me the coconut with the straw. That was very cool. And I drank it. And then I used the straw to chop off all of the sides of coconut and suck those up. It was like boba, boba tea, except coconut boba boba nut I don't know okay Uh, because because the coconut was fresh it wasn't the the inside of the the actual coconut inside the coconut wasn't like firm yeah it was still soft so you could swish it around with the straw oh it was cool though yeah yeah again if you'd like to sponsor a a tasting at Schaefer Tiki Bar the link is in the description and you get this cool sticker from Jose the Parrot with Jose the Parrot on it so yeah Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. Yeah, thanks. Um, we'll be back next week. Uh, we have uh, minis, minis to try, which uh, those episodes go by a lot faster because we just open and pour. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Have a great 4th of July. 4th of July. Don't set up fireworks because my dog doesn't like it in the middle of the night. No, and I like my sleep. Celebrating the 15th of June. You know, 15th, the 25th, the 4th. 30th, you know, all the days. Fourth of July. Happy barbecue day. Okay, bye. Bye.